I have this cologne and this shoe behind me. And with these two items, I'm gonna blow your mind with what you can do with your very own product photos. And today we're gonna be using the AI Assistant in Free Pick. If you're not using the AI Assistant, you are definitely missing out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of this cologne right here in my hand. Then I'm gonna grab this shoe behind me, this shoe right here. We're gonna make believe that both these products are mine and I wanna create an amazing looking image featuring my products. Ones that can look unique and creative enough to make a buyer want to buy. And so ever since Flux Context came onto the scene, you can really start to eliminate, maybe not completely, but for a lot of use cases, either hiring a graphic graphic designer or trying to learn and figure out how to use Photoshop or even Illustrator. Okay, so I have both images taken. Now here's the first one. Here is the first image of that cologne right there. Now let's go ahead and bring in the shoe. And now here is the other one right there. Now you could see them there both back to back. Wait until you see what we're going to actually turn this into for the end result. Now what we're going to do is head over here into my prompts portal database because I want to show you some examples. Let's go to my product ad and print designs. You could see this is a bottle of Creed cologne and by utilizing a very creative prompt in addition to even your very own product photo you can end up with some of the most amazing and unique looking creations when it comes to creating product photos or even ad photos and this is all possible with your own photos you're going to take hey guys if you want the most amazing prompts databases click the links in the description now i'm in free pick right now what we're going to select is ai assistant click ai assistant it's going to land on this page right here now i'm going to go ahead and grab that same shoe let's come in here and just simply click and drop it right here in the free pick now what we're going to do we're going to test this out in two ways i do want to try this with flux context max and also gpt hq let's go and first try flux context max and what you want to do is just briefly describe the sort of image you're looking for or the actual sort of scene so i just basically said clean this photo up because it is a little bit messy with that illuminated light make it look like a professional stock photo editorial style for a product ad remove everything in the photo just leaving the shoe on a crisp white background okay now let's copy this because what we're going to do is try it again with gpt go ahead and now submit this once this is done we'll take a look at it and then we'll try it with gpt but this is only the beginning of these cheat codes i want to share with you after we get both of these results then we're going to make it look even better we're going to actually add some very unique flavor to it to really make these images stand out if you're trying to sell any sort of product and then after that i have two more cheat codes that are going to blow your mind so you want to make sure you definitely stick around. Now look at this right here. Here is the first photo, and now our professional stock photo is done. That's amazing. It is the perfect fit. This is where we started from, and that pure white image on that nice background is what we ended up with. Now the other thing we can do is utilizing that same exact image. Let's go ahead and drag it in one more time. Okay, I'm going to drop it right here. Now I can say something a little bit similar. So what I'll say is transform this image to make the shoe look like the perfect product ad. Now remember, we're utilizing context max. When you utilize GPT HQ, you'll also get some different results. But again, now here we go with this one. You can see this is going to do something quite similar. Okay, very similar to the first version we got when we said transform it into a stock image. And as I click off and on each one, it does basically the same thing. But let's just say for an example, you want to add some creativity to it. Okay, perfect. So what we'll do is I'm going to come over here into my prompts portal, specifically Specifically, I have a product ads and prints section. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and you can instantly see some amazing looking product ads I was able to create utilizing a similar strategy that we're doing right now. So for that being the case, let's go ahead and expand this one right here. Okay, now you can see this image looks pretty fantastic for those Apple Vision Pros. So let's go ahead and copy the whole entire prompt. So I went ahead and pasted this whole entire prompt in. But remember, I don't want the Apple Vision Pro. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that portion of it. And look at that. Look how amazing this turned out. It even added the text in the bottom left hand corner. But look how amazing this looks. So again, remember, I go from this image right here, which is pretty terrible, just shot on my iPhone to ultimately crisp white ones for this nice product ad style. And now I can even take it up to a higher level and add a lot more innovative details. Now, one more thing before we completely leave this and move on to cheat code number two, let me show you something else. 
Now, I'm going to go back over here into my prompts portal. And remember, if you want access to these databases, just click the link in the description. I'm going to go over here into my scenery category. And here's the reason why. As I scroll, you can see there are some pretty unique scenes and styles and just different locations. Let's open up this one for an example. I really love the way this looks. So let's go ahead and download this image. With that image downloaded, we're going to go now back over in the free pick and do one more thing. So what I'll say is with the shoe image, create a product ad in the style of this uploaded image. And I'm referring to the one that I'm gonna click and drag right there. That's gonna be the one I just showed you with that LED lit up living room. Now go ahead and hit submit. Okay, and now this is a good reference point specifically because look at this, it says, the current mode doesn't support using multiple image references at once. You can switch to auto or GPT mode if you want me to combine the shoe image with the style of the uploaded studio image. So would you like me to proceed with that? So now go ahead and say yes. Okay, I will actually switch the GPT HQ in the bottom right hand corner. Now let's resubmit this. So you can see that is why it's going to be so helpful to have both flux context and GPT available right here within the AI assistant. It's going to work with no issues this time. Now, while this is thinking, one other thing I do want to remind you of is that I could also just take this image like this again. I could also upload this and let's say, for an example, you sell multiple varieties or multiple colors of this shoe. And instead of having to take a lot of pictures with your phone, I could re-upload this image and say very quickly, change the color of the shoe instead of it being white. Change the white areas to fill in the blank with any color that you want. So you can see it's pretty fascinating with everything you can do right here in the AI Assistant. Now let's go back to free pick because our other image is done with that new LED style product ad. Wow, and would you look at this? This is incredible. Look how good of a job this did. I mean, I am quite impressed with the level of detail. We are definitely going to download it. Now remember, once I do download it, this is important because you can even up scale it. And now the other thing I want to show you is, I don't know if you knew this little hidden trick, but next to the upscale button in the top right hand corner, we have what's called use. If I click this, I can instantly use in the new design and instantly use in a mock-up. So if I do select use in a mock-up, I could actually create a mock-up. It's going to take me to this page right here and I could input that image on the left hand side. You can see it populate. I can instantly put it on any sort of a style of a mock-up I want. Last but not least, but only for this shoe. Check this out. Let's go ahead and open this up right here, okay? Now, watch how awesome this is. I'm going to go ahead and select Create Video, and I'm going to transform this still image into now an amazing-looking video. I'll go ahead and go with Hiluo 02, and now let's go ahead and generate this. Now, while that's thinking, I have two more amazing tricks or hidden tips I want to share with you. So what we're going to do is go back over while this video is still being created and go back to the assistant one more time. Now, again, what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and stick with GPT HQ. Here's what we're going to do next. Let's say I really like the style of this logo right here. Now, this is not an original logo. This is one I recreated utilizing the same method I'm about to share with you right now. So let's go ahead and bring that logo logo in here and drop it just like this. So what I'll do now is click and drag my logo in here as well. And I'll just simply say, make my logo of the graph mule look like the first logo for Airtable. It really is that simple. And again, this has been working so well. Here are some examples of other logos I've recreated in that same exact style, utilizing the same exact prompt. So there we have the YouTube one right there. I also have one with the YouTube logo that has the word prompts, mid journey right here, and then even free pick. So when this one is done generating, we'll come back to this one as well, and then I'll show you the final results. But while this is thinking, let's go back over to create and look at how our final video turned out for the shoe. Okay, there it is right here. Let's go ahead and open this up, hit that play button, and now look at that. That slow rotation, such a great job. And to think, we started with a pretty terrible image, and we ended up with some very creative and unique images and also a video. Okay, but now here we are back over here into our AI assistant. And now look at that. Pretty good job with the mule. The only thing I'll say is that, I mean, everything is perfectly exactly how I like. However, it looks like the ear is either missing or behind that graph. But other than that, wow, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with how this turned out. Okay, so final cheat code. Now, these other ones did very good. We have the product ads and now we have some unique 
unique custom logo creations. But now let me show you a little tip that could help you in your process for your next image. Back into the AI Assistant in a brand new chat. Just in case you didn't know this, I would highly recommend selecting this button that's called Workflows right here. The reason why is because FreePick literally lays out all of these cheat codes, all of these instant creations that you can use to really get some great looking images. Let's go back to my prompts portal and let's go specifically to my cinematic gallery right here. Let's take a look at this image of the astronaut skating. So with that being said, now I'll click and drag it and drop it right here in the upload reference image box. And now before we do, look, I love these other options down here to where we can get a proposed next video sequence, user image for new prompt, and we get more options down here that we can choose from. Let's also say get prompt in JSON format and now let's see what this gives us. So while that's thinking, I'll go ahead and open up a separate window. We're gonna generate the video using both of the prompts it just gave us. So I'm back in videos, and for the first one, we'll go ahead and go with VO3, and I'm not gonna use a start image this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the prompt on this one for VO3, but I'll also do the same thing using Halo O2 and use a reference image for that one. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear about some of your own personal creations. And remember, if you like this video, Don't forget to subscribe. please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.